you are welcome i welcome you to the messiah channel messiah, messiah revelation uh, ministry an end time prophetic ministry dedicated to awakening the saints preparing them for the arrival of the messiah yeshua uh, jesus christ and we are also awakening the hebrews who are scattered uh, to all the four corners of the earth uh, today we are looking at a question um, black hebrew israelites a group called black hebrew israelites who are those and a group called christians who are those followers of christ um, are they the same people and this question is important because of the divisions uh, in the church and divisions even among uh, those who identify as Hebrews. I'm talking about black men, black women uh, scattered over the world uh, who identify as uh, Hebrew Israelites. There are a lot of divisions among themselves and the question that we are asking um, are black Hebrew Israelites um, are they Christians can they be Christians and could Christians also be um, Israelites can they be uh, Hebrews um, at the same time and so if you look at the world there are some people who identify as Hebrews and they are black men black women they are Hebrews and nothing else. Um, they are Hebrews and they are the only people who are saved. They are Hebrews and the whole Bible um, is about them. And there are some people who also call themselves Christians. Uh, they are followers uh, of Christ and they are not Hebrews. And it's very, very unfortunate because there are a lot of black people uh, who are Hebrews, but they are not aware that they are Hebrews. They are Christians all the same, but they don't know anything about their Hebrew identity. They are black men and women who identify as Muslims. Uh, they don't know they are Hebrews. And um, even if they know they are Hebrews, uh, they are still uh, Muslims. Uh, in other words, they have converted from being a Hebrew to being uh, a Muslim. And I'm talking about the nation of Islam um, that operates uh, in the United States. Uh, I assume that um, a lot of people who are members of the nation of Islam, uh, they are uh, black men, black women. And I believe that uh, the uh, descendants of Jacob. Uh, we've made so many videos about it, but they are not aware, or even if they are aware, uh, they, uh, they don't take it serious. Uh, they, their faith is in the Quran, not in, uh, in the Bible. And they don't want to have anything to do with Christians and they don't care about the awakening of the Hebrews uh, who are scattered all over the world. Uh, you can draw a diagram, uh, a circle, a circle A, um, composes of uh, a Hebrews, and then circle B, um, compose, uh, it composes of uh, Christians. And the question we're asking is, is circle A uh, different from circle B uh, or are they uh, the same? Uh, this question is very very important uh, because uh, we have to start with the Messiah. Uh, the Messiah spoken of in the Old Testament and the Messiah who appeared um, he appeared in the world uh, following the prophecy given to Mary the mother by the angel uh, Gabriel. I'm talking about um, the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, uh, the Lion of the tribe um, of Judah, and he is the leader of the church, uh, the church 
of Christ. Uh, if you don't want to call him Christ, you can call him any name that you want. After all, uh, he is the Alpha and Omega. Uh, you can call him Alpha and Omega, and I will agree. If you don't want to call him by um, his uh, quote unquote English name, uh, you can call him the Ancient of Days, and, and I will agree. And you can call him the one who holds the key to um, death and life, and I will agree. And you can also call him the one who um, died for the torment of the sins in the world, and I will agree with you. Uh, in the book of Revelation, the Messiah gave a revelation to be given uh, to his servant, the prophet John. And that revelation was to be given to the seven churches. So the church is authentic. The church is divine. It's the church of Yeshua. It's the church of Christ. And the Messiah talked about the church. And he said that Peter would be the rock on which he will build the church. And Peter was the leader of the church. And Matthew talks about uh, the church. And the followers of Christ were called Christians. And the first time they were called Christians was in Antioch, uh, if you read the New Testament. And so the followers of Christ who are called Christians, uh, they are not heathen, they are not uh, pagan, they are real, they are legitimate, they are the followers of um, Christ, who um, is a Hebrew, definitely he is, because he is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. So you cannot deny the Hebrew identity of the Messiah. You cannot. You cannot, because that would be a blasphemy. And you can also not deny the fact that the church is the church of, um, uh, of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. And so if you read Paul, uh, Paul said he was a true Israelite and he mentioned his tribe. He is from the tribe of Benjamin and he was persecuting the followers of the Messiah. And on his um, journey uh, on the road, of, on the road uh, to Damascus, uh, the Messiah appeared to him. And the Messiah told Paul, you are persecuting me because you are persecuting my followers. You are persecuting the Christians, those who follow um, the Messiah. And so is there any um, connection between the Hebrew and, and Christians? Definitely yes, because the link is the Messiah who is a Hebrew the lion of the tribe of Judah and the one who founded the church and he commissioned his disciples to preach his gospel uh, to all the four corners of the earth. It implies that the Messiah wanted his gospel to be preached to the Hebrews who are scattered in all the four corners of the earth. And so can you be a Hebrew and you will not identify with the gospel of the Messiah, who is a Hebrew. Uh, can you be a Hebrew, but you don't want to associate yourself with the writings of Paul, a lawyer, and somebody who is a Hebrew from the tribe of Benjamin? Uh, can you be a Hebrew, and at the same time, you don't accept the writings of Peter, uh, who uh, is the rock on which the Messiah uh, found the church, um, the church of uh, Christ. Um, can you be a Hebrew, but you cannot identify with Stephen uh, who died. Uh, Stephen was preaching about um, Christ and he was also preaching uh, um, about Moses and he said that the Messiah, Yeshua, is greater than uh, Moses. And of course, the scripture is very clear. 
that the Messiah is greater than Moses and all the prophets, and he is greater than angels. And the book of Hebrews is very uh, clear on that. So where are you? Um, are you are you confined to circle uh, A where you say you are a Hebrew Israelite, you are a black Hebrew Israelite, but you don't have anything to do with circle B uh, who um, um, are Christians? Or are you saying that you are a Christian, you are in circle B and you don't have anything to do with the Hebrews? Uh, if you do that, you are confused because one, um, the Messiah is from the tribe of Judah. He's a Hebrew and he founded the church and it was he who gave the revelation about his church to um, the angels uh, to be given to um, Apostle John, to be given to the churches, the seven churches. And the, the revelation applies uh, to all people in the world. If you read Revelation very carefully, you know that it, it is based upon the Old Testament. And so you cannot say the Old Testament is different from the, uh, from the New Testament. Uh, you cannot read the book of Revelation and understand it without reading uh, the book of Ezekiel, without reading uh, the book of Daniel. So uh, the two books are, they are connected, they are the same. Uh, they point to the Messiah. The Old Testament prophecies are about the Messiah. A lot of them are about the Messiah. Um, at least about one third of prophecies in the Bible uh, about uh, the Messiah. And the Messiah spoke about uh, his church. Uh, he spoke about the church in the book of Revelation. And the church in Samaria, in uh, Pergamos, in Thyatira. Laodicea, Ephesus, uh, and the rest. And so you cannot be a Hebrew, Israelite, and you say you don't have anything to do with the church. If you do that, you are uh, denying uh, the Messiah. Uh, you are denying the writings of Paul. And a lot of people who identify as Hebrews, uh, they uh, do not accept the New Testament, particularly and the writings of an Apostle Paul, an Apostle Peter, and the writings in Matthew, uh, Luke. And it, it means that you don't believe in the prophecies uh, in the New Testament that relate to uh, the Messiah, uh, Yeshua Jesus Christ. And I don't believe that you even believe in the Messiah, Yeshua, uh, Jesus Christ. I was watching a video and the video is from a channel called Smart Christian Channel. It's operated by a black person and I believe he's an, an African American and as you are aware he is a Christian and from um, his teachings uh, I, I, you you can see, see he's a Christian definitely he's very proud about it and he doesn't have much to do with uh, the Hebrew Israelites. And I believe that um, he doesn't have revelation. He doesn't have revelation because the black men, black women who are scattered all over the world, and particularly in the United States, these are um, the descendants of Hebrews who uh, was scattered over the world to fulfill um, Bible prophecy. Um, the operator of the channel, Smart Christian Channel, I believe he doesn't have revelation. And he is debunking the teachings of the uh, Hebrew Israelites. He mentioned Deuteronomy 28. And he says that Deuteronomy 28 does not apply to black people. And he made a very weird comment. And the comment is that uh, he knows from the history of black people, particularly um, black Americans, that their um, ancestors did not eat the flesh of their children 
and that's the comment he made and so um, Deuteronomy 28 does not apply to them the cases Deuteronomy uh, 28 does not apply uh, to them um, I think he is very naive and he doesn't have revelation and I recommend everybody to read uh, the four volume book written by Ronald uh, Darton Jr. Uh, he uh, is uh, a black American um, uh, I don't know whether he would like me calling him a black American because he's a Hebrew and he is a, a foremost uh, researcher on uh, Hebrew Israelites and his book is called From Hebrews to Negroes. There are movies done about it but there's an attempt by the enemies of the Hebrew Israelites uh, to distort facts and also uh, to de-awaken the Hebrews. What we are doing is awakening uh, the Hebrews, but other people are de-awakening the Hebrew. They are reversing the awakening of the Hebrew. And um, Smart Christian Channel uh, is preaching about the gospel of Christ, and I recommend that he, he, he does that. Uh, but at the same time, um, he is actually refusing to accept the fact that uh, the Hebrews are still scattered over the world and probably he himself uh, is a Hebrew and he is not aware or if he's aware he doesn't care and he doesn't want to be um, identified with uh, Hebrew Israelites and so the conclusion I will draw uh, is that Deuteronomy 28 is about the Hebrews, the cases are about the Hebrews, and there's no race of people in the world who can add, um, fit uh, the cases uh, in Deuteronomy 28 more than uh, the black uh, men, black women uh, whose ancestors were um, scattered to all the four uh, corners of the earth. Uh, the second issue is the division. Uh, among the Hebrew Israelites and I believe there are over, over 100 groups who identify as uh, Hebrew Israelites and they are located in the United States uh, in North um, Africa IUCC or GOCC and I can mention only few uh, personally, I don't identify with any um, Hebrew Israelite uh, uh, group or camp. I identify with the fact that the Hebrews are scattered over the world. And I rely on um, the vision that was given to me October 30th, 2007, a vision regarding the gathering of the scattered of Judah. Uh, particularly in reference to an African Americans um, is based upon a vision that I saw and I also saw a vision about Jeremiah symbolizing the scattering and the gathering of the Hebrews as um, prophesied in Jeremiah uh, in Ezekiel and also in Isaiah there are so many divisions among the Hebrew Israelites uh, divisions regarding who is a Hebrew Israelite, who is not, who is from which tribe, and who is not from which tribe, and who will be saved and who will not be saved. And one of the contention is that it's only Hebrew Israelites uh, who uh, will be saved. All other people will not be saved. Um, so it's only black men, black women who are Hebrews. Uh, who will be saved. Uh, the divisions are not strange uh, because uh, you can expect that in the last days, particularly when we are approaching the time when the Messiah will come and gather the outcasts of Israel and the dispersed of Judah, uh, Satan will use all means to uh, scatter the flock and also sow seeds of this unity among the Hebrew Israelite group and some of them 
uh, will not make it. Uh, they will not make it because structural violence has been uh, imposed, uh, has been unleashed, and that will result in death among uh, the Hebrew Israelites. Uh, structural violence, uh, whether through guns, whether through uh, drugs, whether through poverty, whether through diseases, or any other program um, that designed by Babylon America uh, to destroy the rise of a black messiah um, as they did during the time of Ija Hoover who was the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation in America, um, an organization that had a policy to infiltrate black organizations to sow seeds of disunity in the black community and also to fund and direct and program different sets and uh, different camps among the black Hebrew Israelite uh, community. Um, during the time of the Messiah, uh, there were a lot of divisions. If you look at um, the New Testament, there were a lot of sets uh, in, 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 in around Jerusalem, a set, C, um, S -E -C -T, sets, camps, and so many groups. Um, I can mention the Zealots, um, I can mention the Isins, I can mention the Sadducees, and I can also uh, mention the, uh, the Pharisees. And they trouble the Messiah. They question him, and they trap him, and um, they were worshiping idols, and they followed doctrines of men, doctrines that were not uh, in, in, in the in the in the Torah, they were not among the prophecies, but the Pharisees were following doctrines of men. For example, um, you cannot you can't eat without washing uh, your hands. Uh, you are you are filthy. Um, you cannot eat with sinners. Uh, you are filthy. And so they are, they even criticize the Messiah, why the Messiah was mingling with sinners. And why Messiah I went to the house of um, um, of, of the task uh, corrector um, and to eat in his house. Um, why the Messiah um, was feeding uh, people, healing people on the Sabbath. Uh, these were all um, considered as uh, uh, what they call uh, uh, disobeying the law of Moses. Uh, they didn't know that uh, the Messiah was greater than Moses and he uh, was uh, doing the will of um, the Father, uh, ancient of days who is uh, in heaven. And so if there were divisions among uh, the Hebrews uh, in the time of Christ, uh, what do you expect to happen? Um, in the last days when the Messiah is coming, the divisions will be multiplied and Satan is, and his agents will work uh, full time to make sure that there will be so many divisions and there will be so many confusion. And instead of people watching and praying for the coming of the Messiah, uh, they will be fighting, they will be debating. They will be spending more time on debates, on street corners. And now, online resources provide them with opportunity to debate 24 hours. And they are debating about things that do not help their own salvation. They are debating about uh, who is a Hebrew Israelite and who is not a Hebrew Israelite. They are debating about... Um, those who can be saved and those uh, who cannot be saved. And they themselves are not following the commands, and, but they expect other people uh, to follow the commands. And they, so there are a lot of divisions among the Hebrew Israelites. And one of the divisions is about um, Israelites and Christians. Uh, if you are a Christian, uh, you are lost because you are reading the New Testament and the Bible is corrupted. Christianity is a white man's religion 
and there were so many books that were supposed to be added onto the Bible, they are not, and so the Bible is corrupt, corrupted. Uh, Christianity uh, was used to justify colonialism, imperialism, and slavery, and um, Christianity is mixed with paganism and idolatry, and so you cannot be a Hebrew Israelite, a true Hebrew Israelite, and follow Christianity. You cannot be a true Hebrew Israelite and read the, the 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 writings of Paul, the writings of Peter, and you cannot be a Hebrew Israelite if you believe that salvation belongs to both Hebrews and Gentiles. You cannot be a true um, Israelite. But the Bible, um, the writings of Paul, and the teachings of the Messiah himself, who was a Hebrew shows that he came for both the Hebrews and, and, and the Christians, Hebrews and Gentiles. Is salvation inclusive? Yes, it is inclusive. It is not only Hebrews who can be saved or who will be saved. Um, Gentiles will be saved and that evidence is in the, in the New Testament where um, there were multitude before the throne of the Most High from all nations, all kindreds, all tongues, all languages. That is a biblical evidence that salvation uh, will be extended to both Hebrews and, and Gentiles. And so there's no reason for confusion at all as to uh, whether um, uh, um, Hebrews can be Christians or Christians can be Hebrews. The bottom line is that the founder of Christianity is the Messiah and he was a Hebrew or he's a Hebrew. Uh, Paul, um, he has done a lot uh, in the work of Christianity and Paul is a Hebrew and he wrote that he's from uh, the tribe of Benjamin and so um, there's no division uh, between Hebrews and Christians. After all, the Messiah, uh, the leader of the church, um, he wrote that the gospel uh, should be preached uh, to all the four corners of the earth, and um, the uh, gospel should be preached to both um, uh, Hebrews and Gentiles. And the work of the Messiah is very important. Uh, one, um, he, um, he sent uh, Peter to go to the house of Colinius. Uh, I believe probably he was a white man uh, from Rome and he was definitely a Gentile. But the Lord sent Peter to Colinius in the house of Apostle. Uh, Peter didn't like it, but he, he got to know by revelation from the Messiah himself that salvation belongs not only to Hebrews but also to uh, Gentiles. Father Abraham, the Lord instructed him that his servants and his slaves should be circumcised so that they will come within the zones of blessing. And the Lord told Abraham that his descendants would be a blessing to all nations. And the prophet Isaiah said that the Gentiles should be, um, the Hebrews should be a light unto the Gentiles. In the same way that the Messiah came to the world, uh, a Hebrew came coming to the world to be a light unto the Gentiles. And the prophet Isaiah said that the Messiah will be an ensign of his people when he leads the scattered of Israel and the dispersed of Judah. He will be an ensign uh, to the Gentiles and some Gentiles will cleave to uh, the Israelites. So is there, is there any uh, division between Hebrews and, and Christians? Uh, you, 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 you can answer the question yourself. Um, salvation does not belong only to Hebrews. Salvation belongs to Hebrews and also to non-Hebrews. And that is in John 3, um, 16. That is in John 3, 36. He who believes in the Messiah uh, will be saved. And those who do not believe in the Messiah uh, they will 
uh, be uh, condemned. So there shouldn't be any uh, confusion at all uh, whether um, you are a Hebrew and you are um, a Christian or whether you are a Christian and you are a Hebrew. It's a, it's a mystery, uh, it's a mystery of, of heaven. Um, don't let anybody confuse you. Now, particularly confusion uh, coming from um, black men, black women. And the point I'm making is that the Hebrews are scattered over the world. And Deuteronomy 28 um, um, reflects uh, their history. It reflects their ancestry. They are still scattered over the world. And people have suppressed that information. It is in their interest to suppress that information. It is in the interest of Lucifer and his agent to suppress the information. Uh, it is in the interest of the 1948 state to suppress that information. It is in the interest of Babylon, America to suppress that information. It is in their interest to burn books that um, will reveal the secrets of the Hebrew Israelites who are Negroes. After all, uh, during the war, Sagrenti War 1874, when the British fought the Ashantis, when they set Ashanti cities on fire in Ghana, there was a manuscript that was discovered um, in the palace of the king, and the manuscript was written in Hebrew. And why was it a document written in Hebrew found among the Asantis when the British fought them and destroyed uh, their cities in 1874. Uh, definitely, um, the Asantis, uh, they are from um, the Hebrew uh, tribes and they fled the destruction of Jerusalem in um, AD 70 and they settled in parts of Africa and the historic records show that uh, they settled in a place called the Slave Coast, which actually uh, was known as the Kingdom of Judah, uh, from where they were taken as slaves to all uh, the four corners of the earth, and the Elmina Slave Dungeon in Ghana, and the Cape Coast Slave Dungeon in Ghana. Um, they are historic monuments and that will support the prophecy in Deuteronomy 28:68 that the true um, children of Jacob they will be sold as slaves into Egypt again, and this um, is the story of the transatlantic uh, slave trade. And so the question we are asking is, um, Black Hebrews. Are they different from Christians? That debate should not come at all. The bottom line is that the lion of the tribe of Judah, the Asian of days, uh, the one who holds the key of David, the Messiah, uh, you can call him by uh, all Hebrew names, Yeshua, Ayaha, or whatever uh, that you call uh, him. Uh, he is a Hebrew par excellence. And he is the founder of Christianity, and he instructed his uh, prophets to preach the gospel uh, to all the four corners of the earth. He came to die, and he died for the sins of the world. John 1, 29, uh, John the Baptist, uh, he announced with a large voice, here comes the one who take the sins of the world. He was refer referring to the Messiah and dying for the sins of the world uh, was very inclusive. Not the sins of Hebrews, but the sins of Hebrews and Gentiles. And so don't be ashamed if you are a Christian and don't look down on Christianity. Uh, even though Christianity was corrupted by Rome, uh, even though Christianity is still being corrupted. It is corrupted in churches um, where they preach that it is okay to be a Christian and gay 
at the same time. Uh, it is corrupted. Uh, the Bible is misapplied. Um, the Bible was corrupted by Europeans, white men, and when they uh, came out of a slave Bible and they only preach a session in the Bible that says that a slave should obey his master. That's the only gospel that they preach. Uh, definitely, um, it's an evidence of distortion of Christianity. But that doesn't mean that Christianity is a white man's religion. If you say that, it's a blasphemy. Christianity refers to the followers of Christ. And the word was used in Antioch, where the church of Christ uh, began and spread to all um, other parts of the world. And in the beginning, there were a lot of black men and women uh, who helped uh, the spread of Christianity, but their role has been distorted and they've been taken out of the books. And that doesn't mean that Christianity is a white man's religion. Christianity started in Africa before it spread to Rome. So the question we are um, saying is that black Hebrews, Israelites, and Christians, um, they are the same people and they are not different. And so this is the message that I'm giving to you. Uh, you cannot be a Hebrew and hate Christianity. It means that you hate the church of the Messiah who is coming as king. And he's coming to gather the outcasts of Israel and the dispersed of Judah. Paul was a proud apostle of the church of Christ. And Peter was a proud apostle of the church of Christ. And John, John, when uh, he was in prison on the island of Patmos, he was obedient to put down the writing, the revelations. Um, of the Messiah to be given to the churches, the churches um, scattered all over the world. So you can be a Hebrew, and there's nothing wrong uh, to be a Christian. Definitely, if you don't believe in the Messiah, um, you will be lost. Uh, if you don't believe in the gospel, uh, you will be lost because the Messiah, the head of the church he is coming to rule the world he will gather the hebrews from all the four corners of the earth but he will be the one who will uh, be the messiah king be happy and there should no longer be division among so-called um christians and 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 so-called hebrew israelites uh, we are all we are all the same um, the enemy has um, sowed seeds of confusion and the doctrines of men have taken over and here we see doctrines of men in both Christianity and also in the Hebrew Israelite community. Um, we are spreading the gospel of the Messiah. Um, we are building on the foundations of Paul. We are building on the foundations of Peter. Uh, definitely, we are also um, not forgetting that the Messiah came and he didn't come to abolish the law and the prophets. The law and the prophets, um, they are still relevant. Um, obeying the commandments of, uh, of God uh, is relevant. The Messiah, the head of the church, uh, he instructed that obey his commandments. And it's very clear in the book of Revelation, for those who do not obey the commandments, they will not have access to the tree of life. Thank you for watching this video. My email is smallletterspraptureafrica at yahoo.com. I thank all the members who um, uh, subscribe uh, to the channel, and those who make comments, and particularly those who have been sending videos to me. There shouldn't be any confusion between uh, Hebrew Israelites and Christians. There shouldn't. What, what we should worry more 